reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went to live in Capernaum by the sea, in the region of Zebulon and Naphtali, that what had been said through Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way to the sea, beyond the Jordan. Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sit in darkness have seen a great light on those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death. Light has arisen. From that time on, Jesus began to preach and say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I unknowingly embarked on the first step of my conversion when I made an elemental decision. With the decision, everything in my vicinity became lighter, brighter, new. The surfaces of glass, metal, and marble sparkled. A physical weight lifted. I felt indescribable peace. I became physically lighter with the movement of mystery into my shadow land. Is there anything darker and more shadowy to the spirit than self-deception? Is there anything more refreshing than the light of humility that helps us be in right relationship with God? Shakespeare described the shadow land well. In this thing of darkness, there is nothing more confining than the prison we don't know we are in. Looking back, it feels as though God moved me to the elemental decision. When reading today's gospel, I asked myself, why did Jesus choose Capernaum? In practical terms, it was where he would collect the apostles. It was on a trade route. Word would spread more readily. There was also another reason. The word Capernaum means village of consolation and is related to the word kapar, atonement, and koper, the price of ransom which keeps a group out of slavery. In a land overshadowed by death, a light has arisen. Jesus revealed himself in his words of revelation and hope, in the healing of the paralytic, in the forgiveness of sins, and the ransom he would pay. Obviously, Jesus is the light that arose and is still arising for many who are emerging from their shadow lands. Plato said, light is the shadow of God. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. Thank you.